Hello. Welcome to Registry Partners December CTR Coding Break. I'm Patricia Fordham, Quality Consultant for RPI. And today I'm going to talk about transurethral resection of bladder tumor, or TURBT, and intravesical therapy treatment codes. What is intravesical therapy? Per cancer.org, intravesical therapy is commonly used after transurethral resection of bladder tumor. The goal is to kill any cancer cell that may be left in the bladder. Intravesical therapies are administered through a catheter that is placed in the bladder through the urethra. The medication is then introduced into the bladder. Intravesical therapy is often done within 6 to 24 hours of the TURBT procedure, but in some instances may be done at a later date. There are different types of therapy drugs that can be administered by way of intravesical therapy, BCG being immunotherapy, genocidabine and mitomycin being chemotherapies are to name a few. Depending on when the therapy is given will depend on how you code the treatment in the patient's abstract. We'll go through a couple of case scenarios. We have a 67-year-old male presented to the urologist after bladder mass found on imaging for vascular disease. The cystoscopy confirmed findings of a two centimeter bladder mass on the left wall and a TURBT was planned. On 3-15-2020, cystoscopy with transurethral resection or TURBT was performed with findings of one tumor identified in the urinary bladder measuring three centimeters. It extended from the left lateral wall near the bladder neck, just superior to and not involving the left ureteral orifice. Using the bipolar electrode, visible tumor was resected down to mucosal level and to the level at which muscle fibers were seen. An additional deep muscle biopsy was obtained. The tumor resection sites were then fulgurated with coagulative current and hemostasis confirmed. After the bladder tumor resection, intravesical gemcitabine was instilled into the bladder. These are the surgical codes as listed in store manual appendix B under bladder site. As you can see here, we have uh, codes 20 through 25, which are usually the codes that we use when uh, assigning the surgical code for TURBT. When intravesical therapy is given status post TURBT during the same admission encounter, you will code the applicable TURBT surgical code in the surgery field. And depending on the type of drug administered, you will code this as either chemotherapy or immunotherapy. So on 3-15-2020, the TURBT with electrocautery will be coded as surgical code 22. Then in the chemotherapy section, you will code 3-15-2020 and code O2 single agent for the gem cytobine that was instilled. When chemotherapy is given at the same time during TURBT, code also in the chemotherapy field. Case scenario two, same patient underwent a TURBT. The physician decided that a BCG intravesical therapy would benefit the patient but he wanted to give this at a later date. So the patient presented to the urologist's office on 4-15-2020 and BCG was in instilled intravesically. So in the surgery uh, section, you will code 3-15-2020, surgery code 22, which was a combination of the um, TURBT and electrocautery. And then on in the surgery code, you will code 4-15-2020, surgery code 16 for the BCG that was given intravesically. You will also code in the immunotherapy treatment section, 4-15-2020, code 01 for the BCG that was administered. If the physician had decided to use chemotherapy instead of the BCG therapy at a later date, you would have coded the surgery code 3-15-2020, of 22, which was the TURBT, and then you would code 04-15-2020, surgery code 15, for the chemotherapy being given by way of intravesical therapy. You would also code in the chemotherapy section 
04152020 and the code for the chemotherapy being given. I hope you found the December CTR coding break helpful. Thank you and have a great day.